So, um, <laughs> it was an inside thing, you know what I mean? I can't tell you no more than that, you know what I'm saying? Just know that we know, okay? One of them. So, um, anyway, y'all, um, um, the, the Taste of Soul coming up. <coughs> yeah. The Taste of Soul, y'all, in the next couple of weekends. Okay, like this weekend is going to be the, um, the, the screening. So if you guys want to come out or whatever, come through, come through, whatever, you know, um, um, if you're able, if you're not, then, you know, that's okay. But all the info is already on my Facebook and on my Instagram and stuff, and I, th I put a poster up about it, and I think you have to call that number, or I don't know how the process go. I, I ain't even got into that, but I know that I believe it's $10 or something to that effect. Um, and it's going to be at, an, at a, a theater and the cast and crew and all that stuff. And it's, you know, a screening of the film. Um, I'm going to be there and I'm just there watching like everybody else. But, you know, I'm just putting y'all up on it on where I'm going to be. You know what I mean? If some of you guys want to come down, come check me out. Hey, Tina, how you doing? How you been? You know what I'm saying? One of them, you know. Um, so then therefore you can come through, come check me out. But. You know, yeah, so that's what's happening. That's next Sunday. I think it's at 5 o'clock. But then the next week is the Taste of Soul. Y'all already know I'm going to be at the Taste of Soul. I haven't even went on Facebook to see who all's going to be there or anything like that. I don't even know, you know, what the lineup looking like. You know what I'm saying? All I know is I'm going to be there, though. You know what I mean? I am going to be there. And I know DW3 always get down. You know what I'm saying? Because I always do the... The wave stage, you know, that's my shit, you know, the growing sexy shit. Now, down there where Corrupt and all them motherfuckers probably be doing their thing at, uh, I ain't gonna be able to do that because I ain't trying to run at the end of the night or none of that no type of shit. They already be off, you know what I mean? I ain't trying to do none of that, okay? When it's time to G.O., nigga, it's called which way we're going, okay? I'll meet you at the car in five, you know what I mean? One of them, because I'm gonna take off whatever is on my feet, nigga, and I'm digging. I'm gone, you understand me? I'm gone. Feet look like they about to step on everything that's in the street, but I'm gone. I'm digging like a motherfucker, you understand me? So, yeah, I ain't got time for all that shit there, and I'm, I'm too old for that, okay? Let me just go and say that part. I'm too old for all that right there. <clears throat> I ain't doing it. So, uh, so yeah, the taste of soul, though, because, yeah, I think it's like the weekend of the 16th or something like that. You know what I'm saying, and uh, so yeah, that that's 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 always fire. You know what I mean? That's a staple in LA. You got to do the taste of soul. What you bullshit? You know what I'm saying? This shit, this nigga shit is free. You know what I'm saying? And you don't go? What's your problem? Yeah. So um, this is one of them. Yeah. So anyway, I know I've taken up a lot of you guys' time on tonight, um, but it was my sissy's birthday. My big sister's birthday, Loretta. And, oh, my God, I hope you really did it real, too, real cool like on tonight, Mama. I hope you went to dinner and went on to church and all that other kind of stuff and did, you know, did it that brought it all in. You know what I'm saying? How you wanted to bring it in. You know what I mean? I ain't mad at that. I'm so, I'm just, you know, I'm just happy that it's your birthday. And I know that you're happy you're in a good place right now. And I'm just happy for you, Mama. To God be the glory. You know, may, God, may Father God continue to bless you and bless you further in this life, you know. I mean that, baby. It's all love in me. You know what I'm saying? That's Jennifer's sister. Shout out to Jennifer. Hey, who is that, yeah? Okay, come in. What's going on? I don't know. That's your food right here. My food? Oh, shit. You made me some? All right. All right, baby. Thank you. All right. I couldn't find the food. Thank you, son. Yeah, he brought me a steak and shit. Huh? Thank you, baby. You see what time that is? You see that shit right there? My baby came and brought me a motherfucking steak while you bullshitting. Look. Oh, my God. Shout out to the steak, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's the thought that counts. You understand me? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get at it. You know? Look what kind of knife he gave me. Nigga didn't give me that damn fork, but look what kind of knife he gave me. Mm -hmm. 
it's the thought around this piece. You understand me? Nigga, I'm gonna I'm I'm get at that nigga like I done straight got that from. Mm-hmm. Tony Roma from motherfucking world. I'm eating that up. Yeah. I don't need no Jack Daniel sauce, none of those type of shit. You understand me? Yeah. Because my baby brought that to me, and he's like, Mama, I, here's your plate right here. I, I got you, son. Thank you, baby. Mm-hmm. A little chewy a little bit, <clears throat> but uh, I'm going to still get at it. I'm going to do the best I can with it. You understand me? Especially that baked potato. After I get through zhuzhing it up, you know what I'm saying? Because I got sour cream and all that shit in my refrigerator right there. Don't play with me, okay? So, <clears throat> I'm going to sit up here and, um, mm-hmm, it's 7.40, and, um, we done chalked it up, we done, you know what I'm saying, caught up a little bit, it's October, you know what I'm saying, these days are going by so fast, if y'all better get out and vote and quit playing, y'all already see who, you know what I'm saying, what, what's going on here right now, you know what I'm saying, especially for those of you guys that are still out here trying to get it. You know, don't fuck around and crap out on this motherfucker and get trumped up in the game, okay? You better take your ass down and vote. You know, real shit. We got to get Hillary up in this motherfucker. And in my position in this life, in the, posi- in, in the choices and the decisions that I make, you know, it ain't really no, you know what I'm saying, no never mind for me because I already bought home. You know what I'm saying? I've already, you know, I, I, I'm not trying to get finance for anything. You know what I mean? Um, I don't have no seconds and all this other, I ain't got none of that old type of shit, so, you know, I'm pretty comfortable, but, but for people that's trying to get it, and trying to buy a home, and, you know, and still got shit to do, yeah, now, one thing I do got to do, and that's to get these kids through college, so that's, that's, that's where, you know, a lot of my decision making is going and shit, but Hillary is, you know what I'm saying, she's a mother, she understands how important that is, so she's on that tilt too, so, I'm winning either way, you know what I mean? But we fuck around and get trumped up in the game, nigga. I don't know how this shit gonna turn out. Real shit. Shit, you better quit playing. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm gonna sit up here and I'm gonna um, put me some stuff on my baked potato. And, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna get at my meat. You know what I'm saying, that my baby brought me in here for dinner. And uh, I ain't gonna even trip on my uh, taco and uh, carne asada. You know what I'm saying? And my um, tamale. But check this out, though. So I bought one tamale and one taco. How about when I got the bag, she put me three tamales in there? You take away my emptiness. I feel inside. Oh, look. Check this out. I wanted to show you guys. Um, some of you guys is asking me what my cone um burner looks like and on Facebook so it was sitting right here so this just, just a quick something I know y'all like bitch that didn't have nothing to do with nothing you were singing and now you come in with this but I, I was just thinking about it and as I looked over there noticed that my incense quit burning and I was looking at my um <clears throat> cone, uh, cone burner so that's what my cone burner looks like um we got a few minutes let me show you guys what my girl Dana sent me Y'all, check this out. We ain't got no, we ain't got nothing else to do, so we can talk about this right here, okay? Um, my girl twin sent me a goodie bag full of incense and stuff, so we're gonna go through it right quick, okay? And I've never seen these, Mama. I'm like, wow, you know. Um, I've never seen this package like this. This is some exotic shit. I don't know where you got this from, but mama, oh my God. When I opened up that box and got all, it was, y'all, it was so much incense and stuff. I mean, it was just my shit in there. So anyway, this one is sensuality. So I don't know what the list is of like the different scents and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like it is mixed with patchouli and this. Oh, here it is. Ylang Ylang and aphrodisiac. Okay, nutmeg and patchouli. Yeah. I was kind of feeling that, because, you know what I'm saying, me and baby, we really like this one, and you sent me two of them, which was right on time, you understand me? We burned this motherfucker right here, nigga, there's some exotic shit jumping off of this motherfucker, some edible, some Jumanji in this motherfucker, yeah. All right, yeah, excuse me. But, uh, 
And then this one right here says clove. So what's all in clove? It's just clove then. Yeah, so it's just, it's, yeah, it's just clove then. Okay, now this one right here is Arabian musk. Now what's all in this motherfucker right here? Because all oh, this shit, this shit is so bad. Oh my God. Man, where's my glasses at? I don't know why I'm playing with it. If I don't get these motherfucking glasses on, excuse me. Shit, y'all, you see y'all niggas rolling with me. If I don't ever get these motherfucking glasses on, quick bullshit. Because I'm trying to read this shit, niggas, half ass dark as motherfucking here. Shit, I better quit playing, put some glasses on, quit playing with me. Shit. Okay. Um. Arabian musk wafts gently into the air and has lifting and, and magnetic effect catching your senses aware, unaware at night. Okay. And then this one is Ylang Ylang. I love Ylang Ylang. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, now this one. Ylang Ylang, the flower of flowers, is useful in treating stress, anger, and shock. The Ylang Ylang fragrance has restorative powers and will have a relaxing effect on you. Yes. And what else? And then this one right here is um, Gemini. So it's some incense, I guess, pertaining to Gemini. But it's Gemini Zodiac Natural Incense Sticks. Yes. And then I got more of them. Check it out. Now this one is another sensuality. You see this the one that me and baby, he's like, hey, baby, can we get another one of them sensualities, please? Can we get a sensuality, uh, uh, excuse me, sensuality, excuse me, pardon, okay? Can we get another one of them pronto? Yeah, shit, baby, we get to like this motherfucker right here. She, if you don't put your arm behind your motherfucking back and quit playing, yeah, yeah. That's how we be doing it. You see how the box all fucked up and tore up? Yeah, that's the one that's open, okay, been used. This one right here is called aphrodisia, okay? Huh, you go to my head. A part of everything I say, think, and do, woo, woo. Huh? You go to my head and you make me happy. <laughs> Sing that shit, baby. Okay, so what's up with aphrodisia? Aphrodisia sets the perfect sensual smooth, mute, uh, excuse me, mood, okay? Aphrodisia fragrance will cast a spell of other everlasting love on you. It's not telling me what it's all mixed with, but this motherfucker, so we ain't, did we try this out? We ain't tried this out. Yeah, baby, we got something else to try. Check that out. And this is, um, um, Argar Wood. Okay, an evergreen tree produces aromatic resin called ar ar argar wood. The Tulsa, Tulsa, I don't know. Argar wood fragrance will give you a balance in mind and body connection. Wow. That's some, mm-hmm. That's some chakras aligning right there. And this is African musk. I like this one. I, I burn this all the time. And this one, African musk is wild and free-spirited. It frees the mind and body, bringing them closer to nature. Yeah. Then she sent me a bag. Okay. So she sends me a bag, y'all, with some cute little other stuff in it. Check this out. So you go to my head, okay? These are cones. So these, I will burn these inside of this. Okay, and they're shaped like this too. And they just burn. They're just a different shape of incense. Okay, so yeah. And shout out to my girl Cynthia um, on my Facebook. Um, she went to Sprouts and she got her smudge um, sage. She got her sage to do her smudging at the house. And so she was so gracious enough to inform me that she got um, the pack from um, Sprouts. Um, and... Uh, I think she said in the health and beauty section, I think. Um, and she got the big ones, too. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, that's where she got that from. And she's smudging her home. Um, and she, look at these earrings, y'all. They're wood. Love. Love, love, love. Do you see this? Quit playing with me. 
Oh my God, especially when I got my hair wrap on. And then she sent me a um a coin, a, 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 a cone burner. Whereas you can still put the cone right here and burn it in here too. If you don't have a cone burner like that, then this is just one that you just put the, the cone right there and you just light it and it just burns and the ash just goes in there. The bottom is always metal, you know, for keep keeping shit from burning up. Um, I, I'm getting me a um, and it hasn't come yet, but I but I'm I got me a um, a smudge pot. Um, a smudge pop is what you see, you know, down there in the Vatican and all that and the Pope and all that stuff when he come through and then he got, and he's smudging, um, the congregation when he comes through the doors and you see him with this and it's on a chain and he's just smudging through there. It's just changing up the energy in the room. You know what I mean? It's just changing up the energy in the room, you know, getting it ready for prayer and, you know, meditation and all that kind of stuff. So... Um, also you can take, um, just some sage that you bought from the store and put it in the ashtray and burn it as well. Burn it in the corner in their house or whatever, you know, just to smudge, you know, that particular area until you go online or wherever you go or sprouts or whatever and get your sage, you know, wrapped up and, you know, like that and it's big and then you just light it and you just smudge, you know, around your doors and things of that nature and it just changes up the energy inside of the house and you know get you ready for meditating and things like things like that and i like to do it as well when i'm getting ready to get in the sauna or i like incense around the the sauna so i'm also not only am i taking in um himalayan sea salts while i'm in there and i'm relaxing i'm meditating i'm in prayer and i'm also getting you know the scents from the incense as well and for me this is what works for me you know everybody's get down is different everybody you know what i'm saying do their thing on how they do their thing but for me i'm a free spirit you know I'm a, you know what i'm saying i respect other people's beliefs and other people's get downs i'm not in a box you know and that's how you grow is when you can respect the beliefs and the the rituals of other people and how, how other people get down and it's only when you shut the door on those types of, you know, opening up yourself to be that diverse, you know, I don't want to be in no, I don't want to be in no box like that. I want to taste, see, and do, and everything that came along in my path. I have to say that Father God, I did my best. You know what I'm saying? I had fun with that. You know what I mean? So, in this chapter in my life, you know, um, I'm, I'm just in love, and it's about love. It's about me loving my children and loving everything about my life and my home and. You know, loving my body and loving who I am. You know what I'm saying? Because it is only then when you're able to love who you are and love your truth and all that. To whereas you're giving off that love, you receive that love back. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't loving yourself, then how are you expecting somebody else to really love you right? You know what I mean? Nah, I, gotta, I have to know what love is. You know what I mean? And sometimes it takes separation for you to really click it. You know, and get it in your head as to what it is that you're really trying to do. You know what I mean? And for me... You know, I had to disconnect, unplug, you know, for a minute, you know what I mean? And just kind of get my mind right, you know. And once I got my mind right, I'm like, you know what, shit. You know, I had to make some decisions with Ken that I was like, you know what, <clears throat> we have gone the distance. We have gone as, we, as far as we can go. You know what I'm saying? I've seen the best in you, you know, and uh, you, this is, this is, you know, you constantly saying you're doing the best you can. Okay, well, then, therefore, I've seen the best in you. Now, I'm ready to grow a little bit further. You know what I'm saying? So, we have come to a crossroads right now. We have to go ahead on and figure out something else. You know, and uh, it was what it was. Did it go over easy? Not really. You know what I'm saying? It's been crazy to the motherfucker. But uh, I knew it was going to be that from the very beginning. You know what I'm saying? So, I was ready for it. You know what I mean? I knew it wasn't going to be... You know, no, just no cut and dry thing, because nah, it ain't like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm his drug of choice. You understand me? Yeah. So let's just go and say that part. Nigga, I'm all in that nigga's DNA. Okay? Yeah. Literally. Believe that. Okay? That nigga engulfs all this. Understand me? Regularly. Okay? That was his get down. So anyway, I ain't gonna go no further than that. <laughs> I ain't gonna go no further than that. But you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you already know what it is, you know what it is. I'm one of them. Yeah. But um, anyway, um, let me see. 
Let me go ahead and light one of these motherfuckers because it done went out. You know what I mean? I'm trying to preserve them real fire ones over there that Dana sent me because that's the top of the line shit right there, nigga. And when me and baby is doing our thing, I'm finna bring out that purple bag right there like it's a crown royal sack, nigga. I'm gonna pull that whole bag out, nigga. Okay, what, 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 what we in the mood for, shit? Uh, we getting ready to do some zebra shit or what we about to do? Some kangaroo shit, this motherfucker? Yeah, because we own some animal kingdom. Do you understand me? You talking about erotica? Shit, okay. Yeah. One of them. I better be in here trying to move my goddamn body shit. In the beginning, hell, I felt like I was in a fight. I was like, damn, what the hell is going on? Shit, I felt like I had got beat up on. I was like, wait a minute, oh my God, everything hurt. Yeah. After that, I was like, oh, hell no, nah, fuck that. I got to get in shape, shit. Fucking with you, shit. I got to stretch my limbs out. Fuck what you good. Fuck what you heard, shit. So, yeah. Shit, he be all over this right here, shit. Damn, can I sleep? Shit, yeah. One of them, shit. So yeah, I had to, I had to start moving my body. Shit, let me move this motherfucker around. Let me, let me get, let me get my hips and shit fluid. You know what I'm saying? Let me work on this core a little bit. Because in the beginning, I was like, oh my god, oh shit. When I came back from, when I, when we came back from Vegas the first time, oh my god, I was like, oh my god, I've been beat up on. Everything was hurting, ankles. Back of the knee, all that on top. I was like, oh my God, what the hell? Nigga, I had all kind of bruises and shit all on the back of my goddamn ankle region. I said, oh my God, what the hell happened? Shit, nigga. Shit, I was like, damn. I said, like I was bound and shit. It was like handprints and shit all around my goddamn wrists and shit. I was fucked up. You know what I mean? I was like, shit, bitch, you need to root, root. Shit, you need, you need a cup of tea, shit. Yeah, I was messed up. Shit, I was like, oh my God, what's going on? Yeah. 